on guys welcome back to another video i know that we are definitely struggling with wind coming through in today's video but i'm here with the yukon i'm making my big announcement for you guys um so what do you guys think it is i'll leave you guys some time right now to drop your comments below in you know the comment section of oh, my hair looks great in the wind uh, of what you think my big announcement is i mean you definitely already saw the title and thumbnail but hey whatever you know um yeah, I was really struggling with wind today. I already knew I was gonna be, but it's, yeah. But, anyway, um, there you go, there's your time. And uh, let's pretty much just, wow, let's jump right into this video. So basically, guys, I'm gonna be buying the Yukon. That's right, this 2011 GMC Yukon behind me here. I'm gonna be buying it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy, I know. But, I'm not buying it right now, but in, I don't know, I'm like 15 now, so you know, in a year or two, I'd say, um, I was thinking about buying this from my mom so I can do something cool with it and, you know, giving her money for a good down payment on a new, like a new Tahoe or something, or just, you know, something like that, because I know this isn't, it's not going to be cheap, but I definitely want to give her something to put towards, you know, some new car because this thing's kind of going down the road of needing a lot of stuff. And I was like, hey, you know, that'd be kind of cool because I have, like I've been saying, I have plans, but now I just thought of something completely different. The other day I was looking and I was like, let's go on Rough Country's website, you know, and I was looking through and then I found that they make a seven and a half inch lift kit for this thing, which is ginormous. Cause I mean the door, like or the steps, would be at like, I don't know, my waist or more. I don't know. It'd be it'd be tall. I tell you what, it'd be it'd be tall. And then that and the wheel and tire combo as well, because I'd probably do like 30, 35, 37s, probably twenty by twelve, I think. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to think because I'm definitely do want to buy this. I don't know why. I just I do. Um, so, uh, that'd be kind of crazy though, because like, I'd have my truck, and then just a Yukon that I'd, I don't know what I would do with, but, because, oh yeah, that's what I was talking about with the wind. Alright, let's go behind the car here. Uh, but, either I would make this thing, I'd lower it a little bit, put on a, you know, a pretty decent tire, um, not, a, like, not a small wheel, probably do about the same size. You know, 17s or 18s, a big tire, like a sticky tire. Um, put a turbo kit that I found on um, eBay for like 1400 bucks, 1500 bucks. Throw that turbo kit on it. Uh, you know, maybe put in like a boost cam, do some heads, do some, you know, head work or I don't know. But if, you know, the motor doesn't hold that out, maybe call up Texas Speed and see if we can get a crate motor for this thing or get some parts to build this. Stock. I don't even know what it is. It's like a. I don't even know what the like a 342 or something. It's some weird thing. Three. I don't know. It's something. It's something weird. But yeah, could do that. Or we could go a different route. And I would still do the. I'd still do the headlights. I'd do the grill, the bottom grill, the projector fog lights. Well, actually, I don't know because. I think they make aftermarket bumpers for this. I'm not exactly sure, but I believe they do. So, I mean, I could always go, you know, do the aftermarket headlights I want to do, do the grill I want to do, and then get aftermarket front bumper. I don't know where, because um, I've looked on so many websites. Like, I've looked on Iron Cross. Um, what are those other two? There's two other websites that make, you know, off-road bumpers and whatnot, and I can't find any for this on their website so maybe um maybe there's some company that makes it i'd get rid of these steps um that are on it right now throw on maybe some amp steps or like some like rock slider kind of step things maybe yeah probably some amp steps because you know, they tuck up and then open the door they come down probably do that um definitely would do an exhaust because i mean i think we're already doing exhaust this weekend i don't know if it's going to be aftermarket or factory replacement i'm not sure yet i'd do the taillights third brake light different rear bumper 
because if they make, they probably, I think they make bumpers for these things, but I'm not really sure. Uh, like I said, that Rough Country seven and a half inch lift. What else? Wheels and tires, you know, bigger wheels and tires. Um, a light bar on the roof, like kind of what we did on the 16 Silverado, something like that. And if, it, you know, the off-road bumpers have spots for like LED pods, do like some LED pod lights, it's like, you know, the fog lights, whatnot. Uh, I, then I'd do tow mirrors. I would definitely do tow mirrors as well. I don't know why I would, but I just think this thing would look, if it's gonna be like all big and lifted, put some tow mirrors, like what's on my dad's truck, factory, um, like with the factory settings built in. I don't know, I think, I don't know if you can do that with Boost Auto Parts for like a Yukon, because I know you can with a truck, but yeah, get those all wired in, whatever. Have paint match caps, probably can get some off of Summit racing with this factory color. Um, I would definitely get it tinted. I don't know what I would do on the roof. I don't know if I'd get like a cool aftermarket roof rack. I probably would ditch this, like the stock, whatever. I don't even know what that is, like the roof rack, roof rail system. I'd probably ditch that. I don't even know if you, I'm talking like this, if it's really dark, I'm really sorry, but probably dick, ugh. ditch the factory roof rack system, whatnot, and put on maybe like some cool, um, off-road rack where we put like a spare tire up there and some other stuff maybe have some lights built into it as well to like shine out i don't know i mean all in all like purchasing it putting all the money into it it'd probably be like 20 grand <laughs> so i don't have 20 grand i have one dollar in my wallet so that's that's great but i don't know i think it'd be kind of cool and i would definitely do i'd still do a lot of like the interior stuff i want to do like the cool um either black or carbon fiber, whatever, um, panels that replace all, like, the wood trim stuff, um, the Bluetooth radio, maybe upgrade some speakers, maybe put some subs in it or something. I don't know. I could just be saying all this stuff right now and then never do this or not have anything happen, but I really think it'd be cool to do this and, you know, just get something different. I don't, you never see any big lifted 2011 Yukons, like, how I want to build one, but... I mean, yeah, like an exhaust, cold air intake, big lift kit, big wheels and tires, bumpers, all the lighting stuff, and make it like a cool, you know, off-road Yukon that you can go hit some off-road trails on, and it'd probably have a winch, too, in the front bumper. Or we keep it how it is, like stock ride height, maybe lowered a little bit, um, turbo kit, Maybe do some engine work because it probably will need some engine work. So, you know, bulletproof the engine, do it a turbo kit, uh, different wheels and tires still. Still do all the lighting stuff, the grill, um, do the interior stuff as well. And then just kind of keep it how it is. So what do you guys think we should do? Drop a comment down below. Should we make it a cool off-road Yukon or should we make it like a cool 750, 800 wheel horsepower uh, street monster Yukon and you know maybe take it to a drag strip once in a while I don't know we'll see but let me know in the comments below because I really want to know what you guys think because I really haven't I haven't figured it out I just noticed that like there's some other things I could do you know like there's a big lift kit for it I'm like seven and a half inch lift kit that's pretty sweet I'd love to do that so let me know what you guys think I'm not really sure uh, I just I gotta make some decisions, you know, because I definitely need to get a job soon. Oh, I wonder if I can, hang on, I'm gonna try something here. Is this gonna, oh, it is gonna work. Oh, sweet, okay. Um, so I gotta make some decisions soon because I need to get a job very badly. Um, I need to, you know, make some financial decisions in my life because I'm gonna be getting a truck soon and I'm gonna be doing stuff to that, obviously. I'm not gonna have a stock truck rolling around. That's not fun. <laughs> But I have to, you know, if I want to do stuff with this, if I want to do something cool and buy it and give my mom money for a newer vehicle, or, you know, maybe I could um, partner up with my dad, partner up, there it is, um, partner up with my dad, you know, do something cool, like him and I could go and, I don't know, but I'm also going to be like 16, 17, 18, somewhere in there when this, when I want to do this, but it's, you know. 
I don't want to be, you know, the boring kid in school who just drives around a stock on a Civic or something. I want to do something cool, have some cool stuff. So that's obviously what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so we'll see. I just, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to even be getting for a first truck. I don't know. But if it's a 96 Chevy or an OBS, you can bet it's going to have a rough country six inch, six inch lift with some 22 by 12 or 20, 22 by 14s. I just have big wheels and tires and it's gonna have exhaust headers yeah it's gonna be it's not gonna be stock it's definitely not gonna be stock but when we get the truck I will go over my full build plans for that thing that's not this video this is you know hey I'm buying a 2011 Yukon in the next couple years but yeah I will definitely go over those build plans when we get the truck in and I can have the truck in front of me to tell you guys and like you know we can visualize it a little bit but for now we're just kind of here talking about a 2011 Yukon that I have some cool plans for but yeah there's a lot of stuff coming actually no you guys have already seen that video which is kind of crazy I know you haven't seen that video hmm. interesting um, but yeah, there's going to be some stuff happening with the Yukon coming this week because my dad just got back from his Pennsylvania trip and I know he said he was going to be looking for some trucks down there. I haven't talked to him. I don't know if he has or if he hasn't. And yeah, but if you guys enjoyed this video that I made, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you guys have not already. Um, yeah, so I originally... Here's, here's my problem. I was like, ooh, August 7th. That'll be cool. It's a Friday, you know, 7 because it's like 71. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I've also been thinking about changing the channel name, so I might have been like, hey, you guys watching Diesel Tubes and you're in the beginning of this video. And I might have decided what I'm gonna change the channel name to. I haven't thought of anything yet, but I'm trying to do some cool moves for this channel. And I know it's just, this whole taking a break and coming back is all over the place. So yeah, I haven't even filmed my return video yet, which I really need to get going, but I'm gonna do it this weekend. Well, I want to come back to YouTube with that video on a Friday, but I won't be able to even do all the stuff until Sunday and get it till Monday. So I think I'm going to, I'll probably extend my break out a couple days so I can get a crazy video for you guys. It's going to be interesting. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I guess I'll try to have my dad film or something. I don't really know, but yeah, we're going to do some pretty crazy stuff, make this thing really cool, hopefully. But yeah, I don't know. There's going to be a lot of videos. This weekend, I can already tell, because at least at least three, because there's gonna be three doing exhaust, you know, doing repairs, the cool video, all this. There's gonna be a crazy, crazy amount of stuff happening this weekend. I can't wait to share it all with you guys. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> this one's just been interesting. I had this whole idea, and I mean, I kind of, I kind of made it happen, but I don't know. But I'll see you guys next video. If you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. I will see you guys next video. Peace out, guys. And let's roll the outro. Forgot to mention this when I was filming that, but if we end up doing something cool, making the Yukon like an off-road vehicle, you know, like lifting it, doing big wheels and tires and all that stuff, I have another vehicle in mind that I would do the turbo street, you know, build with. Do like the, not built motor, but upgraded motor, turbo kit, all that stuff. I have another vehicle in mind, and if you guys have been watching since like my very first couple videos, even though they sucked, and you guys know that there was a vehicle that we had on the channel a long, long time ago that I really, really liked, so that might be some hints for you guys. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you know, but that's, uh, that's my other plan, so I'll see you guys next video. Just wanted to throw this in at the end, but peace. Party, baby, show me. I'm not afraid of